What's up everyone? I haven't even been paying attention to boxing, nor do I really care about it. It's always the same arguments and then, you know, <laughs> who, who's the fighter of the year? What popularity contest can we give to you? Let me just say this, Crawford already answered this question. He said, if he were their size, he'd beat him. And I definitely think Crawford would beat Anui, I'm sorry. He struggled with the old, you know, uh, Donair, you know, a guy who's been knocked out by Nicholas Walters and everything else. You know, um, it is what it is, though. It's whoever's opinion, you know. I'm pretty sure it'd be a pretty good fight. Uh, that's why we need, like, stuff like fight night again, you know. But uh, Wilder, of course, I've already stated this before. Uh, you Lomachenko fans, Wilder fans, I don't play proxy race war on this channel, dude. I, I really don't because you're all the same to me. You know what I'm saying? I got my biases, too. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I got my prejudices. But I don't play those games, dude. It's a pathetic fanboy game. Um, you know, one group will hate on the other dude when you all do the same thing. So I always felt it was pointless to even uh, be involved in that type of stuff, you know. Um, what else happened? Yeah, I mean, Water pretty much. He would have got exposed earlier. He was 36 when he fought like Tyson Fury, so he was already old back then. So they kind of wasted his career. That's kind of what they're doing with Javante Tank Davis. Tank's going to be like 33 before he finally fights someone. It is what it is. Um, trying to think what else is going on in boxing that I saw. There ain't much going on, man. What can I say? Boxing has become a sport where you basically, if you want to run a boxing channel, you got to keep up with the drama. It's TMZ, you know. And... When I grew up in it, you know, we talked about the matchup. <laughs> we talked about, like, the skills and things like that, you know. Uh, that's just what it was when you go on the online forums. You know, there was fanboy stuff going on, like on ESPN. Um, what website that I used to be on? I, Eastside Boxing, man. That place was crazy, dude. That was a crazy place. But we, we used to go on the forums and you could talk the old school matchups and things, going to different tabs, classic. <coughs> it's, it's just this generation, though. It, it became like a modern warfare, like chat, and you know what I'm saying, where people just go at it and people are even racist and everything. And again, uh, the, the matchup aspect of the sport, which was like the coolest part for me, uh, that part died in boxing, you know, and today we talk about dudes money, how they don't have to fight nobody, <laughs> you know, they're a star and, you know, guys, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just a different world today. I feel like Rip Van Winkle, I, I was asleep and literally one day I woke up and I don't even recognize where I'm at anymore, you know, um, don't know what to tell you guys, man. We're just having a nice little casual chat right now. Um, what else is going on? Mm, there's a lot going on, but I know a lot of people don't want to talk about what I'm interested in talking about. I saw that Lomachenko ducked Shakur. You know, I'm not mad at Loma. You know, they kind of built him up on a pedestal tool, too. He wanted his little matchups where he gets to fight guys like Gerlimo, Riganal, and have a huge size advantage, things like that. You know, but he, he still had the balls to step up and fight these young cats, even though he didn't want to. He didn't want to fight T.O. You know, he didn't. ESPN forced him to make that fight because, again, his numbers weren't what they were reporting, which is basically how it is with every fighter today. They just try to hype everyone up. They're... The, the money they make, everything, you know? It's fake it till you make it, man. And I don't blame Lomachenko. He, he, he's he been passing the torch. There's plenty of people in this sport that don't want to pass the, the torch. Like Canelo, you don't want to pass the torch. You don't want to do what Floyd did for you. You don't want to fight Benavides, you know? You want to fight your, you know, Europeans. 
you want to fight these obscure guys and weight train them and do everything that Canelo does, you know? I know that's going to make his fans mad. I don't care, dude. I don't care about your fake guy. Again, you know, um, Canelo, he was brought up with a silver spoon in his mouth, too. I mean, you guys, you just got to stop lying to yourselves and stop being fanboys, dude. Um, but Lomachenko, again, I got to give him credit because he's been fighting these dudes. So, you know, maybe he can take some time off. He don't need to get beat again <laughs> by a young dude. You know what I'm saying? He don't need to do that, you know? He's just going to lose again. Let's be honest. You're not going to beat Shakur. You're going to waste six, seven rounds, just like you did versus Salido, just like you did with Teofimo Lopez, just like you practically did with Haney. He thinks that he's going to get guys tired, you know, drag them into deep waters, especially these young dudes, and then drown them in the end, and that's just not going to work out, man. It's really not. You're going to be all timid, just like you were versus Salido, and then you're going to try to get, once again, the fanboys get them all driven up talking about how he was robbed he actually beat this guy or that dude come on man come on guys like i said you're all the same with me you know you guys you make it a proxy race war on the internet again you all are the same to me i don't care what color your skin is dude I really do not care um i i haven't really been paying attention i don't even know what to talk about when it comes to boxing um, who is Canelo fighting next? Maybe someone can drop that in the comment section. He sounds like he's kind of pussyfooting right now. You know, he can't make up his mind if he wants to go and fight on Amazon and go fight Benavidez, you know? We're team Benavidez over here because I'm here in Arizona, so uh, we're going to cheer for Benavidez over here, you know? Um... Actually, I heard this dude now change his mind. He's willing to fight uh, Crawford. You know, I'm down for it. I don't care. Benavides or Crawford, I think those are good fights. Um, I know the the Canelo Zealot fan club. You're, you're like the Mickey Mouse fan club. Um, you guys don't want to see that fight. Let's be honest. You don't want to see your dude get beat because he's going to get tired. He's going to... Him and Gervonta Tank Davis, dude, they remind me so much of each other. They really do. Even their fighting style and their psychology because they both aren't that active. You know what I'm saying? Canelo doesn't throw a lot of punches in the round. Neither does Gervonta Tank Davis. And they kind of let their opponents wear themselves out a little bit, you know, and then they try to sneak in the knockout or whatever. But with Canelo, we've always talked about this. If you get him to be active, you know, that's going to give you a huge edge. And Benavidez ain't going to let Canelo rest, dude. I'm sorry. He can catch Benavidez, drop him, whatever else. Even has a substantial chance to knock him out. But uh, you're going to be tired, dude. And you're going to be on that, on them ropes, just like we saw you in sparring. You know what I'm saying? Benavidez is going to be hitting you. And you're going to be trying to looking like you're slick while you're getting hit. And Benavides, again, we talked about Canelo. A lot of people don't understand this. You know, they there's there's certain myths out there. A lot of people, for some reason, think you got to fight like Lord to beat Canelo. You know, uh, you don't. And then they equate it with the way Floyd Mayweather fought Canelo. Canelo didn't, or Mayweather didn't fight Canelo like how, uh, what's his name did, you know? Uh, he actually stood there in front of him in the pocket and just beat him with the jab all night. Um, you know, but, uh, Canelo's weakness, again, we've talked about it. It's just like punch out, like back in the day when the dude flashes and then that's when you know when to time him. Canelo opens up like Van Damme, bro, before he throws his left hook. Cause again, he likes to keep the dudes guessing, like, is he going to go up top or is he going to go to the body? And again, Golovkin, I don't know why he didn't pick up on this earlier, and he was actually trying to land the counter right hand. But in the 10th round and second fight, he actually hurt him with a lead right. And we saw in the benavidez Andrad fight that Benavidez has a very, what's the word, versatile lead right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he could adjust it while, he, you know, while it's mid-thrown. And he can land in places where uh, 
what's his name wasn't expecting to get hit and and it'd be the same deal with Canelo and again we know that Benavides can go up top down low again he can seize openings to a certain degree better than the majority of fighters that Canelo's been fighting minus Bivol but um you know Canelo and them they know what they're doing dude they're Jake Paul bro um this is another reason why we don't really talk boxing that much anymore. It's been a fake sport. It really has. You got nothing but fake fighters. Yesterday, Javante Tank Davis tried to play, I'm the big boy, you know, moneymaker. And now today he's saying, I'll fight Haney at 140. Of course, dude. We're like, what are we sitting over here BSing about? You haven't done what a Tiafima Lopez or even a Devin Haney have done, bro. Like... You fight certain dudes at 140, and again, you play that whole Canelo crap. You know, certain, it, <laughs> you know, uh, when it's convenient, I'll fight it this way. When it's not convenient, you know, I got to weight drain people and whatever else. They move Gervonta just like they move Canelo, dude. I'm trying to tell you. But, uh, yeah, Benavides, he's a great threat to Canelo, especially with that versatile lead right. You know, and again, he can go to the body and up top with it. Again, he can adjust it mid-flight, land in certain pockets where he needs to land it. Uh, and Canelo, I'm trying to tell you guys, like, he's only like 32, 33. You know what I'm saying? Canelo, I know, gets down, dude. I really do. You can tell that dude parties. You know what I'm saying? He probably does coke and crap like that, too. I'm just being honest with you dudes. You guys don't like it when I talk about your fighters, but you know how we do it on this channel. You know, but he's starting to get tired now. And even sparring partners are calling this crap out. And he'll quit during sparring, you know. And again, the dude makes so much money. You got these people overpaying him, you know. But, uh, you know, for a time, you know, for a time there, he was even starting to talk English and curse. And, you know, they did whatever they could. You know, Dizel lost their money. Um I don't think his fights make profits again. I think he just burns a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? When he goes to any of these networks because they overpay fighters today. These guys want to think that they're Floyd Mayweather when they're not. But um, as far as drawing in money, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, he's going to be standing there. And again, we've mentioned this in prior videos. The dude think, tries to act like he's dodging punches while he's sitting there getting clipped. So... It is what it is, man. I don't take it lightly on any of these fighters. I really don't. Um, you can call me a Terrence Crawford fanboy. I got on uh, What's Their Names too when they took a shot at me. I told them that they were going to elevate Ugas to uh, the champion. And th them dudes started clowning on me. And it's all good. I get it because they get trolled all day. You know what I'm saying? But I went, I went in on them. I know some of you still remember that video, you know. We did the clown music and everything else. <laughs> I told him exactly what was going to happen. Like, they're going to elevate Ugas. But I know they were playing games over there at PBC. They didn't want to give up Ugas either. And Ugas was asking for more money than he's ever made over at PBC. So, I get it. Things worked out the way they worked out, you know. And Crawford is, uh, he's an all-time great. It's just that simple. Um, you guys can say whatever you want, but it is what it is. He's in the history books, okay? Um, but that Benavides fight, I would definitely like to watch that, especially if they have that here in Arizona. It'd be nice to go to the Glendale Stadium over here where the Cardinals play or whatever they would have it. I think that would be special, but, and these people, they go out there. I would go out there, you know what I'm saying? I think that would be good, you know, but it is what it is. What else is going on in the sport of boxing? I don't even know, guys. Like I said, I don't really pay attention to boxing anymore. I've been focused on other things. Uh, just what's going on in this crazy world, guys. Um, I know Christmas has passed and people are finally getting their sanity back and everyone's probably high off of dopamine for getting gifts and all that nonsense and all that craze that goes on during christmas i heard a couple crazy stories especially here in arizona a dude killed it was weird uh 
He had a wife that died, but he had a new girlfriend, and I think he killed the girlfriend, the mother, and himself. So just crazy stuff like that. But he let the kids live. He didn't kill the kids. So it was a murder-suicide, double murder-suicide. So, I mean, people, they're still being affected, especially during this time, and I think it's just dumb, uh, especially the way the economy is. Um, I know people want to follow tradition and, you know, appear normal and be a part of the group but christmas is a dumb holiday guys it truly is like you know it truly is it, especially in today's time you're wasting all your money on this nonsense you know um and you don't need a special occasion to get with family and enjoy your family man you know what i'm saying uh we've told you our our opinion on Christmas and stuff though but a lot of people they get stressed over this season because it's just one holiday after the next and you got to follow the herd of people you know and do what everybody else is doing people get all worked up and depressed over this stuff and they're thinking that they got to be go see your family you know on any other day it doesn't need to be Christmas or whatever else you know but life is hard for a lot of people today because they're just you know these people i've been telling you guys this stuff is they're intentionally sabotaging this country from within guys i'm telling you there's there's an inside enemy influence in this country uh spiritually but also in secular means these idiots they're doing this crap on purpose um you know we can maybe do a video on that in the future um my old boy, uh, do in the comment section, when you told me about how Edom is, uh, is Babylon, and I saw that, you know, it's the seven hills and it's a desert by the lake, but I truly believe it's America because we are the biggest consumer in the world. And a lot of these countries are finessing us and they've been finessing us, you know what I'm saying? And again, I think they've even infiltrated our leadership and infrastructure to be quite honest with you. Uh, we are, sell ourselves out, and I know you're a man of the Bible, you read it, and your knowledge is probably better than mine, but this is exactly what happened with Israel, too. You know, what's his name? Let him in and let them see all his riches and treasures, and next thing you know, they go in there. But they were selling themselves out to other countries, you know what I'm saying? And they were picking up their customs and their you know practices and things like that and it, the same process is happening here in america to me it's so funny how the bible was just so accurate like that you know what i'm saying and you see that these bidens they have ties to china china's over here paying biden money and it's common knowledge it's nothing conspiracy theory about it it's right there out in the open and of course his son had dealings with ukraine and it's just it's funny to me man it truly is you know, and then we're following the ways of Ukraine. Ukraine had a huge child trafficking ring as well, and so does America. You know, and they're making a big deal of releasing the Epstein names. And again, it's really no secret. It's kind of out in the open, like what's happening here in this country. It, there's no secret at all, you know. Um, I know everyone's making a big deal of that movie, uh, Leave the World Behind, and, you know, they they're making a lot of conspiracy theory movies and things like or videos and things like that saying how a cabal runs it well that pretty much is the truth for some reason these clowns they're a cabal of clowns number one but they worship these things that have been proven to cause destruction for the civilizations and who worship these things and did their practices you know what i'm saying and i'm trying to be secular about this you know what I, countries like this they don't survive they get destroyed and it's always the same story they're destroyed from within and these countries yeah they would be technologically more advanced than their neighbors and things like that for a season or two and by season you could say a thousand years however long whether it was rome whether it was sidon um you know, whoever, you know what I'm saying? But you're destroyed just like everybody else. And I don't understand why these people in America, they're in such a content state of mind where they think nothing can happen to them. And I've been saying this, our enemies, and I'm not talking about, uh, you know, demons and crap. I'm telling you, 
places, other countries, you know? Um, I don't know how YouTube operates today, but one of these countries, you know, you picture the dragon and the other country, let's just say the bear, you know? Another country, its symbol is a lion. And, you know, you can do your research and put this stuff together, you know? They don't respect us, guys. They know we're buffoons and we are a laughing stock. They know we're making gay porn <laughs> in a place where we're supposed to be running the country. You know, they see that we're on TikTok, you know? They see that our youth are more dumb. Um, people have shorter attention spans. There's higher mental illness they guys they're not afraid of us you know what i'm saying and i've been telling you guys um this is another reason why i think we're babylon um it looks like the world is kind of grouping together and shaping up you can see this with our dollar you know uh these countries are banding together and forming their own alternative currency and they don't want to rely on the dollar anymore when I go into the Bible, guys, I always try to match it with secular things as well, to be quite honest with you. But again, just like how the eunuchs tossed out Jezebel in Jezreel, Jezreel is a very important place when you study the Bible and read what all goes on there. You know, um, that's where all the nations are going to gather to try to destroy Israel and God's going to uh, show these people who's boss, you know, my Lord Jesus. But, um, you know, you guys think I'm a Terrence Crawford fanboy. I'm telling you right now. Um, Jesus Christ is not to be played with. I'm just saying, you know, and I say that as a sinner, but I'm telling you, um, even the chastening from the Lord is ridiculous. That's all I can say. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you'll never be stretched in ways. You'll never be tested in ways. And that's just the chastening. So I can only imagine when the Lord says that it's gold time and it's ready to get this done, like these things don't have a chance at all. None of them, you know, but back to what I was saying about America, it, just to sit here and in decadence and thinking crap is all good. And just this dumb culture that we're putting together right now and just how idiotic it is. And again, a lot of it's common sense, guys, uh, you know, you guys know, what a square is you know what a circle is and these people just to i guess try to feel cool or something they even have to defy common sense um you were born here because your mother again and your father had relations you understand your father was not a cis binary whatever the label you want to give you know it's very simple stuff when you look outside and you look at the birds and you look at the cats, you understand, the alley cats. And, you know, you look at the bees, you know, and you look at whatever else. It's not difficult to understand how that came about. And you're trying to tell me, why don't animals have these problems? You know what I'm saying? If this is just natural or normal, you know. But that's kind of the whole point of what they're doing. It's to cause chaos. It's to cause confusion. And... Personally, I just think it's going to get worse as time goes on, especially when the dollar continues to be more affected. Um, <laughs> these com these countries are, you know, that's another thing, too. Uh, what's really the problem is, is our leadership is weak. It's just that simple. And people, they're drawn to strength. They truly are. You know, you can say whatever you want. You can push whatever narratives you want. But, you know these people when they make a big deal when these movies aren't selling and crap it's just it's it's unbelievably unbelievable you know it kind of defies the you know belief <laughs> you know just on that in itself and when i see a stunt man that's holding back and he moves faster than the character that you're trying to you know make us believe can beat it up you know um it, it's just it's crazy today guys it truly is but Humans are always drawn to strength, even if that strength is idiotic. You understand, even if it's just d outright dumb. But you know, people would rather be led by that than what America is pushing as leadership today, guys. And it's just a sad thing to behold. It truly is. And I see that everybody, even when I watch the sport of boxing, 
Um, we'll use PBC as an example. They use a lot of fake it to you make it tactics with PR and they always try to sell you a narrative. But this is the case with everything. When you turn on the news, it's the same thing. It's either a distraction, you know, um, or, you know, whatever else. They're, they're just not reporting to you the truth. And again, faking it till you make it, just like we told you guys with the Spence Crawford predictions. And we were just telling you the same thing over and over again. Because you guys want to play popular, that's, you know, popularity contest, that's not going to make Spence's job better. You understand? It's not going to give him defense. It's not going to give him footwork. It's not going to give him boxing IQ. Um, I don't know when, well, I kind of remember how this fake it till you make it thing came about, but I always thought it was dumb, you know, especially in my own experience. I remember when I'd work at jobs and I wasn't a popular guy, but I was a guy that did my job. And I remember in multiple workplaces, this happened to me a few times, like all these people, they were all friends and everything else, got each other hired. They'd be leaving and I'd still be there. You know, and they'd be like, how's this guy still here? You know, and I just used to subtly just, you know, my productivity and everything else spoke for itself. I didn't need to sit here and try to play politics, you know, pecking order, you know, that type of thing. And that's another thing with America today. It's, you know, it's who you know, it's always been the case, but there was a point in this country where you had to be the truth. You know what I'm saying? And just like Terrence Crawford, for example, he's one of the guys that's the truth, you know, and that's the problem that the boxing world does not like, you know, it's not all this other stuff. It's not that he's this dark charcoal black dude that looks like Blade, you know what I'm saying? Um, and whatever else everybody says, his attitude or what. No, the thing that they hate the most about Crawford is that he's a truth. And that's always going to be the case when you speak for the truth. When you represent the truth, you're going to be hated. You're going to have people that are just not going to like you. And that's just a natural tendency for human beings, guys. You know, um, that was the thing that people hated the most about Crawford. And just like our Lord, they hated him because he was the truth. And you can use other figures in that too. You know, um, Copernicus, he said, we don't re evolve around uh the universe does not evolve around us. We revolve around the sun. And what they do, they killed them. You know, you could even use it to simple things like that. You know, but they will always persecute and they will always hate on the truth. That's just the way it's always been in this world. You know, um, I know I'm here rambling and I know I don't normally do this, but I just felt like talking, chit-chatting with you guys. Um, it was a long work day and I'm just like at the end of the day and just collecting my thoughts and I'm just like, what can we really talk about? You know, just talking about life, you know, <laughs> uh, I haven't seen any new movies. I didn't see the, you know, uh, that Netflix movie. Everyone's talking about the leave the world behind. I, you know, I don't even watch TV anymore, guys. I really don't. I go on YouTube I'll watch some mindless crap. Uh, recently, uh, <laughs> I don't know why it was on my uh, feed, but uh, there's this dude that plays Mortal Kombat 1, and he's like a clown, and he always rage quits when he gets beat. His name is like Six or Arakin or something, but this dude's funny as hell. He wears like a mask, you know, like a samurai mask, <laughs> and the dude gets like butter when he loses because he, I don't know. But I've been watching dudes just get him and like, you know, it, it's funny. That type of stuff's funny to me, but you know, or sometimes I'll watch chess. I like to watch chess, watch these new chess players today. I'll follow that up. And other than that, you know, little boxing, I don't watch the same channels that I used to, you know. Um, they did have me on six day work weeks, but they, the productivity went down this week. So we're back to five days a week, which is cool. But I don't even know what I'm going to do with myself with two days off now. I'm so accustomed to just working six days a week. It's nice because I'm not out spending money and things like that. But again, guys, you know, uh, had it, I have a PS5, but I don't even play that crap. You know what I'm saying? Um, my kids just got a switch, so 
again that overrides the ps5 now although i used to they used to love playing the ps5 you know the adult games at that too um a lot of the games you can mess with the accessibility settings and make because my kids are young and they think they're really doing something when the game's doing it for them but still uh they were still smart in some games like they were good at like assassin's creed and things like that pretty easy game but other games you'd have to mess with those accessibility options and you know they don't know the difference for the more complicated games that are higher difficulty but uh yeah that switch is definitely taking over and I'm just happy this holiday season is finally winding down. I really don't like this time of the year, to be honest with you guys. And again, I know a lot of people are stressed and they're depressed and everything like that, you know. And we come out with videos like that every year. Like, you guys, don't let this nonsense, this madness get to you, all right? It's it's a joke. It's one big joke. It truly is, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's it's just, you know, real world problems, you know. Are you going to be concerned about buying gifts and spending your money and being broke for some dumb tradition? Or when you can go see your parents at any time cooking dinner or your family, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's no reason to get all crazy and get all into a christmas spirit and all that nonsense okay it's almost over with though we're almost to the new year uh, i personally think there's going to be a lot going on next year especially when it comes to war and things like that uh, when you see them start upping the drama and things like you know i think the indicators are there guys like i did see some news today that israel you know is being hit from or they're being prepared for seven fronts attack or some crap and america shot down like 10 drones and this many missiles and all this stuff today guys um you know i think they're bored and they're ready to finally stir the pot you know and they're gonna you know you had covid and things like that so why not just add more theatrics to the to the to the thing and just kill people in the process so it is what it is, guys. We will talk to you later. Um, you guys got any requests, uh, any comments you want to drop, please do. Um, I will try to address them. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.